Okay, sole possession of first place here in Europe. Uh, Dentist, you had a thing or two to say about the compositions coming into this one, especially Fnatic running that double AD to Ezreal mid, what they succeeded with last week, but on paper, they shouldn't. No, I don't say they shouldn't succeed with this composition because Ezreal and Corky are on paper just like a great combination, but if you combine that with a, with a Ranga and a, and the Rumble, it bears some risks. And despite them having the early lead, they couldn't transit it into the mid game and just take that lead even further. And Ezreal just wasn't the champion who could help that. Like with a champion like, with, with just an, an AP assassin or just a burst range, it would have been better. Yeah, definitely. If they had another champion coming in, um, like Ari or anything like that, um, which would have basically allowed them to make use of the innate uh, damage that they had in the comp, or, or, like in Rengar, Rumble, and Corky, which all have high damage out, uh, output already, and then someone to finish them off, and that's something that we can provide. So uh, if that ha they had that coming in, they would have won the game, I think. Yeah, they would have won the game, but actually 10 minutes in, we thought they were going to win the game. And we're actually going to take a look at a replay of the decisive moment in the early game where Fnatic decides to dive SK. So, yeah, that, that dive is just very well executed. If you look at the Yellowstone in that situation, the, the tower aggro is just perfectly played out. And then despite wasting, or like, despite flashing, they get the kill. And then it just gets a bit messy because we got Anerated coming in, we got Sven Skarin coming in, and we also got LeBlanc, Fox, coming in and trying to clean it up. But what SK, what Fnatic did really well in this situation is just gather up their forces and not allow them to pick up single targets. And even in the situation where Fox does it, he's been able, Fnatic is able to get the counter kill on that. And then it just gets dragged out over and over again. And that scene just like tries to never end. And the decisive moment that won that for Fnatic was when N-Rated flashed and tried to kill Huni, which we see in a second. So right now, Huni should be dead. He gets an auto attack and then N-Rated flashes for it. And as you can see in the last moment, the Alistair heal saves him. Oh. And oh. N-Rated goes down, which makes it a 3 for 1 for Fnatic and gives them the early lead. Beautiful. Now, the question is, yeah, Swag, Swag recall there from Yellowstar did his job. Um, now, the question is, of course, what went away then for Fnatic afterwards? Because SK, at 7 minutes, almost immediately takes the first dragon and they never let go of that dragon. Basically, what, what Fnatic never did is like uh, controlling the bottom side. They uh, tried to dive Nar a couple of times. They tried to basically control top side completely, which at some point you have to give up. Uh, the Drake, uh, after like the second, third Drake, it keeps on snowballing, and the danger just becomes grander that uh, the fifth Drake is coming in and basically ends the game for you. And that's something they didn't recognize, they didn't respect, and Forgiven got free farm 24 7 too, which basically makes him like the carry that he wants to be, like, that uh, is not involved in, in early fights, but that tries to carry through mid and late game team fights through his mechanics and uh, game knowledge. Yeah, they build up a pretty great three, uh, a double threat composition around that. Forgiven was just free farming for the whole game, ending up at like close to 400 in that like in that in that very short match. And we got Fox with so many kills coming in, playing the LeBlanc as an assassin and damage control champion in team fights. What we see in the second replay that we prepared. yeah, let's actually put that up let's, on the screen there, on the that screen. we can take a look at how. Fox plays that out. Usually as LeBlog you want to pick up people, like you want to make picks and then take objectives off the woods. What Fox is doing here is he uses his distortion so smart and Whoa. gets on both carries. He gets on Corky and he gets on Astral and takes away 50% with a W. This is just amazing and that won the fight for them. Afterwards, with four Drakes, you can't play it like this. Like this game is absolutely over afterwards. Yep. And they will go on and finish the game right after that, forgiven as we see. Uh, he wants his hands on some kills because uh, he had a lot of farm, but he wasn't so incredibly fed in that one. The question for you guys, for me, SK, incredibly scary. And forgiven said, we need some losses to see what we're doing wrong. They're getting behind in the early game. With that move, they actually got smashed in the early game, and they're still able to turn it around and almost sneak dragons under your nose. It's, I mean, it's super scary. It was mostly due to the vision control. They... They really worked on the vision control. If you see how the upgraded trinkets came in really early, they used it absolutely perfectly. They rotated as they could, and they put the farm on the right carries. So there's nothing you can do. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, I've 
like the the main focus points that we we criticized about SK was like the warding control, mm -hmm. actually like uh, um, basically under warding and them like not recognizing the threats that the enemy team uh, can provide. They kind of kind of fell into the same rhythm again, like early game, but they managed to uh, like come back from that, and that's something we haven't seen from SK uh, besides the one uh, elements game where they came back like from one eleven down. But that's not usual for SK. They want to win laning phase, and they didn't even do that, and they still came back, which is impressive. Yeah, thanks five point four for the uh, updated trinkets, SK. We'll say with the top of the table decided for the day, we'll look at the middle of the standings next as the Unicorns of Love take on Rocket. But first, you don't have to attend the LCS in person to get your hands on some sweet swag. Head on over to the launch of the official League of Legends merch store, which features everything from art prints to collectibles to this Zig statue, which is on sale only for a limited time. It's all live right now, and you can check it all out at merch.riotgames.com. You actually have a, a few minutes to check it out right now, and we'll see you back here in just a few. Nice fans, by the way. Everyone is Honey's fan. Whatever, I'm a fan. Only for Honey. We should, we should re rename the team to Honey instead of Fanatic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's over, not yeah. over! Fox is locked in the air! Hooney's trying to hunt him down, but Enraged is throwing up the auto attacks! He flashes Whoa. forward and doesn't get the kill! No, I oh. mean... We do see Yellowstar goes in, gets two on the knockup. Equalizer comes out that says, do not pass, but it doesn't stop Freddy. Fox melts Fnatic's HP! Yellowstar's in full retreat! And face of the mountain shield plus unbreakable will is down. Where is the equalizer, Hooney? Throws out the sigil of malice, and Yellowstar's gonna be the next one to fall. It's gonna get the face of the mountain shield survives for long enough, but Hooney's down. SK Gaming, the undisputed kings of Europe.